we're back and we are going to be doing a thread, uh, three thread overlock stitch wide. Um, for this exercise, the overlocker will be threaded for the wide, for the wide three thread. We're going to go in here. We want to go here. Mm -hmm. We're going to go here and we're going to touch our three thread, which would be one, two, three, four. Um, and that looks like the narrow. So I think it's this one. Does it say? Left needle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's that one. Why do I have two green things? Okay, so go ahead and touch that. It's gonna tell you exactly Oh, that's the tutorial one. Right. Oh, I like that one. Okay. So you're going to lift the, it says lift the presser foot. Okay. And scroll to the next step. Unthread the, the following, following thread th paths with right needle. needle. Right needle. So that's this one. Now you can unthread. Why don't we show them how to unthread? Can you get that? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. So my right needle is now unthreaded. Okay. All right. So and we're going next. to the right needle is. Oh, it says unthread the thread path. So we right. have to take oh, the whole, this thing, whole thing, off. thing off. How do I get it out of here? Well. Why don't we cut? Oh, because you're going to pull it forward because, duh. Okay, it's the yellow one. Mm -hmm. And that's the green one. That's the green one. Poop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's all right. So we're just going to... There. Yeah. Okay. So... All right, that's fine. So let's just, we'll just re. This is the? The green. And this is the yellow. This is the left. Okay. So I want the yellow one. You want the yellow one. You don't want the green So one. then I'm going to cut that. Well, I can't even get to it there. Okay. Okay, so I cut that. Now, now I'm going to thread this. I have to put this back in here. Uh-huh. How do I know I got it in? There it goes. Okay. And then down. Uh-huh. And then over to that right. guy. Right. And then up to that. Uh-huh. That guy. Yep. And then. Nope. Nope. Just right down here. Right down there. Okay. Dang and it. There. And then in this little V-looking thing. Uh-huh. And then on my. Thank you. In my left needle. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Okay. All right. So I got it. Okay. Now, the right needle is unthreaded. So, yeah. Put okay. these underneath your foot. Okay. Okay. I got okay. it. Okay. Now, you're going to take your tool. Yep. And you're going to loosen, you're going to put this, the needle in here, mm -hmm. your right needle in there. Mm -hmm. Now remember, you can turn this out so you can get in there better. I'm going to take this in there. I'm going to loosen it. Lefty loosey. And there my needle just fell out. Okay, now you're going to tighten that back up because that's that screwed back up. And don't over tighten it, but just, yep. Okay. There you go. So now in here, I think it's on, in, in this one. Yeah, so you can put that needle right here. Okay. Okay. Should I, should I put these things away? You can, yeah. Well, yeah, because we're not going to... No, that goes here. That goes here. How does that go there? It goes here like this. Are you sure this... No. Okay. And that goes there. Right. Okay. Okay. okay, and then go next. Mm -hmm. Attach presser foot. We already have that on there. Adjust presser foot pressure to, to four. four. It's already at four. 
Okay. Pick gutter next. Insert needle in the position shown. I already have a needle. Left needle, right? You've got that. I've got it. Okay. Activate the knife. It's already up and activated. Uh -huh. Adjust the cutting width to six. It's it already is. at six. Attach knife cover insert. Which is right here. Which is done. Activate upper looper, which is done. Is that's it? done. Uh-huh. Hook out upper and that was should be done. It is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So okay, we did all that. Set rolled hem selection lever to position zero. Which here we have. Which is this. Adjust MTC thread control to zero, which it is. Thread Echo. the following thread paths. And they are. They, the yellow and the lower looper right. and the yeah. upper looper. There you go. And then, okay. okay, cool. So now it's all set up. If you look to see everything, they've actually they, blanked out. They're blanked out there. No tension this on that is one. set at 2.0. Uh huh. So there we are. So let's go ahead and stitch. Oh, okay. Am I doing two layers, one layer, or what am I doing? Yeah, two layers. Two layers. Okay. Fold fabric in half. Yep. And stitch along the folded edge. Okay. This is pretty. Okay. Okay. Looks pretty darn good. Now, what would I use this stitch for? You could do like side seams if you didn't want the safety stitch because the fourth one is the 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 right one is just a safety. When you say it's a safety, well, not the right one is not the safety. The, this the left one is actually the safety, but you're not you don't have the right needle going down in the middle. Okay, and the reason that would do that is to make the seam more uh, tighter, stronger, stronger. It's, well, because let's say this stitching, this here's this stitching out here broke loose uh -huh. on the on the center one. If it you would hold the, it, it, it would broke. hold it again. In, so if you were doing say a uh, uh, seam down the back pants, you would want the four thread because right. when you bent over, right. one busted, the other would hold. If you're doing side seams, the three thread is the fine. Thread. Okay. You can also go with the right needle instead of the left, and then you have a narrow. Okay. So like in dowel clothes. Okay. You know something sure. like that. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we're going to do a three thread flat lock wide. Wasn't that what I just did? Nope. You no. did a oh, flat overlock. Lock. Flat we're going to do lock. a flat lock. Okay. 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 So for this exercise, the overlocker will be threaded for a wide three thread flat lock stitch. Which we are or not. Uh, well, we're, we are. We are. Yeah. Okay. Because you've got the yellow, the um, blue, and the red. Yes, thread. we do. And that's what you need. If following the order of exercises in this mastery, the right needle was removed in the previous exercise, yes. yes. Select stitch number five. So go in and select your stitch. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, using the small and needle holder tool, insert the left needle and remove the right needle. We already did that. We did that. Fold the fabric in half, wrong sides together, mm -hmm. to um, to the five, that to one of them. Mm -hmm. Place the folded edge under the foot. Mm -hmm. Guide the fabric between halfway between the left needle and the right edge. Place the fold under the presser. Guide the fabric halfway between the left needle and the right edge of the stitch finger. Right edge of the stitch stitch finger is remember what I we showed you before? back here. Uh-huh. Okay. Halfway between the needle and that stitch finger. And that and the right edge of that stitch finger. This method allows the fabric to lay totally flat under the stitches. Okay. Okay, go ahead and sew and it says slowly sew the fabric. 
the looper threads will should extend Gently pull the them and you're going to gently. And that is your flat. Oh. Oh. So, Would like, you look at that. So, like, <laughs> when they do on like raglan sleeves, sure. And that's showing, that's, that's what, what we're doing. doing. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay. What else are you going to do? That wasn't <laughs> hard. Okay, well now we're going to do a narrow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take select, st select stitch number four. Okay. okay. And um, we are going to have the green, the red, and the blue. So the, the left needle is going to come out. So I have to put the other and needle back in. we're going to put in. the right needle back in. Okay. Use a soft right arm holder. Loosen the right needle screw. Insert the right needle. Tighten it. Remove the left needle. Okay. Wouldn't it be easier for me to take the it, it is. left needle out first? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. So this is the yellow one. Actually, sometimes it isn't because it's you. It's easier with that needle in there to see where the right one goes in because it's okay. hard to. Sometimes you don't. You can't get it in the left needle accidentally. Okay. And this is flat on the back, uh -huh, like flat. a normal needle. Yep. Move this out. Okay. So I'm gonna go. Right. Oh, screw! I undo the screw. Okay, I'm tightening, and now I'm going to go to this one, and I'm going to unloosen the, the top, top screw left. Yeah. Hello, come on, there we go. I'm tighten that back up. Okay, put that in there right. without that thing. And I've forgotten how you put that in there already. It just goes like that. Okay, and that one goes like that. Okay, so now I have to get my green thread. Come on. Okay, and I have to go down my green thread path. next thing they have to come up with is a self needle threading one of these guys well they have one on the 850 it threads itself oh because it's not a cover stitch right oh well there you go okay okay now put that underneath uh -huh. go ahead and stitch some okay. put your foot down and hold all those threads okay put your oh that's your foot down. yep okay now go ahead and we're gonna just stitch, fold it, fold your fabric over. Okay. Okay. Okay, and stitch along the um, now we could go into our where we um, to see, you know, what your what you set up because it would be tell you to have it set at the six, I'm sure the cutting width and all of that. But if you didn't know, that's, you would go into the directional, the right. video. Right, right. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, 
that's way narrower. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like that would be perfect for dowel close if, if I was making okay. things like that. It would be good, like I, I surge on, when I do cross stitch, I surge the fabric. Oh, That sure. would work great for that. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do a three thread flat lock. So we've selected stitch number six, we're going to select. Okay, all right. Um, Remove the lovely. We've done all that. Fold the fabric the wrong sides together, um, and then place the folded, the fold under the presser, and so slow that business where I'm halfway between the because mm -hmm. you're giving it room to to open. Right. Now you, it looks to me like you might have gone over a little bit too much, but I'll bet that would press out. I went too much which way? D d over this way. You okay. needed to be further that further way. Further that way, to the left, yeah. To, so that you gave it room. Okay. You want to try it again? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so let me try it here. Okay. Hmm. It lays nice here. Yeah. So you must, must have got moved back, over, back again. over some more. But okay. look at how nice it lays right there. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Okay. Okay. So that is your three thread <coughs> flat lock narrow. Mm -hmm. Now on page 28, we have a three thread rolled hem. Okay. And this is pretty cool. Let's see what else. And we could probably, if you want to stop here, or we could go to two thread. Oh, well, let's do our three thread. All right. So you're going to um, select stitch number eight. Okay. Using the small screwdriver and needle holder tool, loosen the right needle screw and insert the, oh no, we've already got the right needle in there. So yeah, you're okay. Right needle's in. Remove the left needle, we've done, we've that. done that. Disengage the stitch finger by placing the rolled hem. So we're gonna move that stitch finger out of the way. Okay. Okay. Um, start the machine and run a chain for several inches so that you have a thread tail to aid in getting the fabric started. I have. Okay. Um, do it some more though, because you want the rolls. That's good. Um, place the fabric under the presser foot, sew along one 10 inch edge, not under, you're not gonna fold it. So I go up to the other. Down here. Mm -hmm. On this. Mm -hmm. This is, we'll do this, we'll do the side. Here. Okay. Okay, we'll do this. Alright. Now you're gonna use your your um see and you could what they're saying in here is that in the upper looper mm -hmm. you could use something like woolly nylon oh, thread uh -huh. because that will fill fluff. fluff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Okay. Shorten your stitch length a little. Okay. 
Okay. All there is to a rolled hem. Okay, well, that's pretty easy. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We have the rolled hem with the original stitch length and then narrower. Napkins, you can yeah. napkins. Well, and you could use decorative thread, mm -hmm. and it would make it real pretty. If you were doing Christmas napkins, you mm -hmm. could get metallic gold. Okay. Yep. So that's that. That's okay. that. Now, was that hard? No. It, you feel more comfortable with this? Yeah. That was easy. So next next time we come together, we will. Um, we're going to go and start working on the two thread rolled hem. And a two thread narrow uh, flat lock. And we there's a, just a few more that we'll finish. We can finish this up next time. Okay, cool. And we'll be and then we will be going to the cover stitch. To the cover stitch. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So with that, <clears throat> have fun. Play with your sergers. Don't be afraid of them. Even if you don't have this beauty here. Every serger works about the same, and um, it just has less fun stuff. So <laughs> don't be afraid to play with them. You're not going to break them. If I can so, do this, you guys can do this. <laughs> okay. So thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.